Hi everybody, Tanya here from Flickaboo.com. Hey Flickr community, how are you all doing? As you can see, today is the episode 6 of Remother Tormented Fathers. I haven't played this game for a couple of days and I hope I still get around uh, quite nicely in this game. And uh, yeah, we will continue our journey through this uh, crazy house with Dr. Felton and now the Red Nun is also on our tracks. So that will be uh, amazing. <laughs> or not we will see and um, what I wanted to say was um, when you go to flickerboo.com you will realize we have now 60 66 or 67 flickers registered on the site and um, a few flickers joined our discord server where we can actually chat with each other or get to know each other a little bit better however um, main focus should always stay on the site actually so what I want to know, uh, tell you now is if you are a flicker on flickerboo.com there will be a couple of changes coming soon uh, according to this Discord server and also about the um, interactions between Flickers because I see that many people come to the Discord server and write stuff and everything but the focus kind of ta uh, takes away from the website so I want to reverse that a little bit and um, possibly introduce some other things that I can do for Flickers on the side that you cannot get from me uh, without being a member. So um, if you are Flickr on Flickaboo.com, um, please help uh, share the videos that Flickers post on Flickaboo.com and also like the videos, rate them and uh, comment on them on Flickaboo. Uh, because it will help the flickers that are registered in uh, in return it will help you also if you are posting videos on the site uh, as I said before in the last couple of videos it's not about the amount of videos that you post on flickerboo.com it is about the engagement that you can reach with one video that you post on the site so don't think if you post like two or three videos in a row that uh, all the flickers will go and support all the videos that you post uh, but focus on one video that you want to um, link to flickaboo.com and we will see that we can put our full focus and attention on that one video to make it grow and mature so we can help each other grow this way and i wish that uh, flickers will participate in this whole situation because in the end it's all about the sharing uh, communicating and interacting uh, factor of the site so don't forget to actually interact with the videos on the site also go to the youtube channels and do the same there show that you are genuinely interested in becoming a flicker of the flicker community which means that you help other flickers and uh, not only yourself uh, in the moment when you post a video and think well everybody will share it for me it doesn't work that way Flickaboo is here for everybody to connect to each one uh, each other and then help each other to grow their channels this is what my vision was and I want to uh, maintain it so we will have a few couple of other rules that will be added soon and you will know first when that is happening all right guys this is enough now about that now let's continue with the game and I have my uh, timer on 30 minutes as usual so we can see that we get through this and hopefully make some progress <laughs> all right let me put this on here and we will start and continue the game. Alright, so I will go uh, a little bit smaller now with the camera so you can see the screen. <laughs> Look at that, Dr. Felton sitting there nicely and playing with a music box, I guess. Okay, so I will start now and start the timer at the same time. There you go, 30 minutes starting now. All right. As far as I know from watching Morpheus, I'm Morpheus gaming videos, is we have the red nun on our tracks now, and I think I have to go upstairs to the uh, f uh, to the upper floor because there is something going on there. So let's see if we can find something here. Let's go to the upper floor. <laughs> hey! Oh wait! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Okay. Investigate on the disappearance of Celeste. Completed. Yeah. Well, we are following a, a girl with a white dress now, which is not creepy at all. <laughs> Let's see where she brings us. Jennifer! Jennifer. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, the. Oh, 
one no please uh, this is not good at all <laughs> Nun is out again. And I have no clue. Wow, this is loud, man. something. Oh, maybe it's in here. Okay, close this for now. Where could it be? Can somebody please turn this music off already? She's so loud, it's nuts. Damn, I forgot where the damn umbrella is. Maybe I need to go to the music? Well, that is upstairs, no? <laughs> Damn it, I cannot see anything, Damn it. this already. Don't need this again. Uh, okay. 
New collectible. Red nuns of Cristo Morente. Cultivation workers. Rosso Gallo Plantation, 1970. Uh, oh, look at that. That is all the nuns. Except in the center. I guess she's the only one who survived. Oh my god. During that fire at the field, someone survived. It's her. I've recognized her. It's like she followed Celeste. She showed up at the door a few days after her return. According to Richard, this is a divine sign. He thinks this will help us to have our baby back. But this is bullshit. <laughs> this is our baby. His obsession for J will end up killing us all. That nun, one of the workers in the field, the Ashman's daughter, she succeeded to control this disgusting moth. She became part of that thing herself, but I've smoked her out. She seeks revenge for Prototype 2 of Pernoxile, for everything we've done. And now she has pursued, persuaded Richard to, to lock me at home, in the small bedroom with Celeste. There's no much I can do here. I should have done something. I should have stopped Richard and then at the damned Ryman. Then I could. Things went out of hand. I have to do something now. I have to react. I have to do it for her. Before the session take effect. Before I forget. Before it's too late. Cortisone can still blind them. It can kill the... Huh? That's it? It can kill the... Huh. Okay. No, that... <laughs> That. You have to actually. What fell down? You have to actually uh oh activate things in order to progress in the story. Now I see. Uh oh. I don't think she's here because there's no music. Oh shoot! I shouldn't have talked so fast. She comes in here. I have something to hide, right? I hate this music. Well, I definitely need to go to the attic now. I don't like that at all. Okay, let's save here very quickly because I don't want to lose this again. <laughs> This is crazy. Alright, let's save this. And let's go to the attic. With this crazy red nun. Why is the music playing so weird strings? I hate that, it's so creepy. She's either waiting someplace or there's a... Silence before the storm. Not exactly sure. Good that there's a closet here. So I can hide very quickly. Uh oh. Oh no. Please don't let her come here now. That's not to my liking at all. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> oh I think the light flickers when she's very close. I just saw that the light started flickering. Oh, 
this is perfect. I don't see anything. lady. I need to go up there. Fucking hell, I hope she didn't go upstairs now. I think I need to go up. Oh, I don't know where she is. Upstairs. Shit. I, I don't want to go up there. I think she's up here. No, she's not, of course. This was the wrong. Damn. <laughs> Where was the addict now, damn it? This is crazy. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, we still need to find the battery for the uh, controller in the basement. Great. Uh, this music is just creepy as heck. Yeah. You just saved us all. She turns the light off when she passes by. Okay. Good to know. So where do I go? Where's the basement? <laughs> the voice of this nun is really weird. <laughs> but I want to go now. Where are you? Can't she go away already? Oh, there it is. I hear moss. That's not a good sign, I guess. Oh, fuck me. This is nuts! Where are you going? Nope. <laughs> this is nuts. God damn it, I need to go right there. This is not funny at all. So loud, what the heck? Where are you? Okay. Let's do that, use it. Come on, come on, come on, Dr. Reed. Okay. That's good. <laughs> go, 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 up. And please bring this letter up again. Oh no.
Mannequins? No. My heart is beating louder and louder. Hello? Fuck. Is anyone there? Shh. Nope. Oh, this is nuts. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> okay. Books, a lot of books, okay. A dollhouse. Seems like a little girl lives in here. Huh. It's for a child. But these mannequins are just too crazy. Oh, look at that. Christmas. <laughs> what the heck? What was that? Oh no. as hell. New house, new deal, new life. And uh, tons of people screwed and scratched. 1965, unpacking, Ariana and Sel I'm Jennifer. Uh, okay. Uh oh. <gasps> Turn around! Just creepy as hell. Oh, I get goosebumps. <laughs> it's crazy. Shivers all over the place. Yeah, this, isn't, this is just. <laughs> The council and the acting mayor expressed the solidarity. The authorities are trying to make light of what has happened. Now let's go to the report. Chodoskoro. A phone line repairman was attacked this morning in an underground car park. Surveillance cameras show a blonde woman in suit with an elegant, innocent air about her who approached the man with the pretext hmm? of lighting a cigarette. <laughs> okay. The woman then attacked the man, wounding his head. The wanted person, aged between 30 and 40, then browsed to the man's briefcase containing confidential information about the users who asked for the phone line to be repaired. She stole the man and started driving to an unknown destination, leaving the man unconscious. The authorities are now checking for any evidence that the woman might be looking for a particular address. Although the man is now out of danger, he has suffered lesions and a concussion and has been admitted to a hospital nearby. A few hours ago, the authorities provided an identikit of a woman based on the victim's description. What's that? We invite you to contact us if you find yourself in the presence of this woman, or if that you have woman any specific looks like you. Who? Who are you? I hope you'll forgive me for 
before, but but you mustn't touch my things. My things are mine. You mustn't. That photo on the loft. What happened to that door? Richard made it disappear. He doesn't want anyone to go in. What do you mean? That door no longer exists. There is now a wall. A wall behind the fireplace. A fireplace? Fireplace. There, you're gonna find what you're looking for. Okay. It's a fireplace. Which one? Do you mean this one? Sorry guys, the game crashed suddenly, so I had to continue again with the handle and the umbrella and everything, so... Now, let's continue here and hopefully get, get around it. <laughs> let's see this girl first of all. What the heck? and religious organizations, the juvenile court judges, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, you can't you see her face, it is so funny. And psychologists, attribute the moral decree Daddy of all of them. What the fuck? You were burned to Since when does she come in there? Holy shit! I mean, what's the actual heck? How did she suddenly get there? I don't know about that. Where's the nun? I swear, when I Morpheus played this game, the red nun was not even close by. Nice to meet you too, Jennifer. Mm, 
Dory, run! Oh, fuck. Both of them? Are you crazy? Just a red nun with a stick. If a woman approaches any animal to join herself with it, thou shalt kill the woman and the animal. God save me for the love Okay, I got it. I got I got the remote control because I wanted the batteries, right? I need to go down to the basement now. But I need to save first. <laughs> Oh my god, this is too creepy. Both of them at the same time? What the heck, actually? I'd rather stay here under this bed, it's nice and comfortable. I can't take anymore. Oh, me, me neither, me neither. Oh, the mirror! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Let's go to the mirror very quickly. Uh, this is it. This is too creepy. I think I'm I'm above my 30 minutes now, so I will stop this game here. This is too nuts. Flickr community, I tell you, this was just too nerve-wracking just right now. I mean, did you did you actually see that? I mean, you're running away from this crazy Jennifer with, with hair over her face like the, the creepy girl from the ring and the grudge and all that stuff and suddenly this red nun is right in front of my face. I mean, what the actual heck? <laughs> this is exactly what... I I mean, I never saw that before. I, I, I watched all the episodes from I'm Morpheus Gaming and honestly, when he was in this situation, he was running away from Jennifer, but the red nun was nowhere to be seen, so I have no clue what's going on here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on Sunday in the next episode of Remother Tormented Fathers. Okay, guys, have a blessed day, evening, or whatever it is for you right now, and I see you next time. Bye-bye.